Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you an amazing clove recipe that you can use for both your hair and your child's hair as well, or toddler's hair, um, to help it grow faster, prevent hair loss, thicken your hair, and essentially just help in general with hair growth. So if you are interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching. Now this recipe is really simple. It contains only three main ingredients that are really easy to find. Um, so yeah, I hope that you watch and you watch till the end of the video. So the first ingredient guys are flax seeds. Now flax seeds are super, super beneficial when it comes to, you know, thickening the hair preventing hair loss and also promoting healthy hair growth just because it's high in protein and that just helps with general hair thickness. So for this I'll be using three little spoons of flaxseed but feel free to use more if you like depending on how much you're going you're, you're planning to. Now the next ingredient guys will be some dry hibiscus leaves. If you've got the fresh one it will be absolutely fine to use as well for today's recipe. Now hibiscus is super super amazing uh, when it comes to just stimulating hair follicles in order to promote healthy hair growth and also it helps with um, preventing premature graying of the hair so super amazing. So I added about one handful of that. Now I'm, I'm going in here with some cloves so for this you don't need a lot so just about a tablespoon of cloves will be absolutely fine for today's recipe. Clove just helps to improve the blood flow to scalp which essentially just brings more nutrients to your follicles and in turn help to promote hair growth and that also do, do help and cloves also do help a lot when it comes to preventing hair thinning and also um, hair breakage in general. So I added that and then I added some water, pop this on the stove, allow it to boil for just a little bit. You know this is done when the um, the water starts to become uh, darker in colour so it takes that really darker red colour and that's how you know it's done and also it starts to thicken as well so the liquid will start to thicken just like you can see here um, and that's how, how you know this is um, done so you just turn it off and then we're gonna go ahead and and strain it straight away while it's still hot Now to strain, I will be using a wig cap for this, but feel free to use a tea towel or any other thing you may have available. You can also allow this to cool down before you strain, guys. You don't have to strain it straight away, um, but I suggest you do, just because it's just it's just easier that way. But just be careful as you are working with this so you don't get burned because literally it's just off the stove, so it's still pretty hot. So this is what it looks like after we've just trained it. You can see it's pretty much a liquid kind of consistency, but this will thicken a lot more when it has completely cooled down. Um, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. So this is what it looks like after it has, I will say about 96% cool down. It's still a little bit warm, but yeah, you can see that it has um, definitely thickened a lot more. And that's it, it's pretty much nice and ready, you know, you just need to transfer this to whatever will be convenient for you to use. So I'm transferring it into this little jar and I'm also going to store this in my fridge um, for the next three to four weeks and it will be absolutely fine to still use. Um, so do not throw it away guys if you are not going to use everything. You can also freeze it but the only thing is once you defrost it, it is going to be a little bit uh, more watery in consistency so it will probably turn more into like a spray um, but yeah it's also okay to freeze if you normally make like your hair conditioners um, or leave-in conditioners and, and freeze them. So in this next part of the video I'm going to show you how I'm using it and you can also see how this reacts um, on my daughter's hair. Now lots of you guys requested especially on Instagram that I show basically what I do or what I've been doing to my daughter's hair for it to grow um, because as some of you guys know especially if you follow me on Instagram I did cut her hair when she was uh, 13 months old I think um, so 
I completely cut the whole thing, guys. She was she was bald, like she had no hair altogether. And that's naturally one of the things that we do in my culture um, for girls. So, you know, like we don't hold on to their baby hair essentially because we just believe that their baby hair is just not strong enough. And also sometimes it doesn't grow everywhere, which is what I had before. Like she had some areas where she had like, you know, um, not not as much hair as, you know, other areas. So just cutting the whole thing off just allows her hair to grow a bit more evenly and also it allows the hair to also grow thicker i think other cultures in asia are also adapt this as well and um, because i remember speaking to my indian friend and she did say that that's exactly the same thing that they do the only difference is they don't cut only once so they cut quite a few times until the child is like a certain age um but anyways that's beside the point but what i'm trying to say is I don't hold on to baby hair and I would advise that you do the same as well if you want your daughter to have like you know healthy hair or you know thicker hair or fuller hair I don't know if this is true if the science behind this is true but it just happens that it works for us and that's basically what my mom did to my hair and my sisters and we have a head full of hair and also my um, I'm doing that for my children as well and I can certainly see that her hair has grown a lot more evenly and also thicker and just healthier within the last year so that's super amazing so this is basically like a year about a year worth of growth um starting from scratch which i think is super amazing so anyways um her hair at the moment has been washed guys normally i would wash her hair um i'll take out the hair i would you know pre poo do exactly the same routine that i do on my hair um, but this time around for time purposes i didn't really you know have the time or the energy to do all of that so I shampooed her hair while it was still in her cornrows and then I conditioned it also when it was in her cornrows. Um, so I just took the hair out like the cornrows and that's basically what her hair sort of looks like. I held it into just like two ponytails and now it's time for me to kind of like moisturize and then style essentially. So for this I'm just working in sections exactly the same way that I work on my hair guys and I always recommend that you do that because it's less painful for the child also because you're less likely to cause more tangles and more knots which will just you know cause the hair to just to just i don't know pull and be uncomfortable for her so i work in small sections because it's, it's a lot easier for me and also more comfortable for her so i'm just applying i just applied the um the conditioner that we just made uh, for, for her hair and then i went in with my um moisturizing butter and this is available on my website guys and it's also just below the video if you want to click on it and um, take it directly to my website and then i went ahead and just combed her hair through and this is what it looks like it's really nice and moisturized nice her curls were really popping as well um but the thing is the um lighting wasn't great so i didn't really like capture that but you can kind of see that her curls were really really popping and you will get to see it in the next clip as well so after i finish that guys i'm just twisting and then i'm going to move on to the next section and repeat until her hair is completely now can you see how her hair seemed really nice and moisturized already and her curls were really popping at this point even without adding the butter um so now when it comes to like you know hairstyles that i do for her to be honest i try to make it as simple as possible and i feel i feel like that has really helped a lot with um her hair growth so i would normally just you know conroe her hair in a sort of nice style and then i'll leave it for like two or three weeks take it take it off and then wash her hair and then repeat the same thing and then that's basically just how i have been taking care of her hair and because she doesn't like to sleep with a hair bonnet um because obviously when i put it on she always always pulls it off when she goes to sleep or during the night when i'm not there watching and i feel like if i do like you know ponytails with her hair out um or just hairstyles where her hair is exposed is most likely going to dangle a lot and break a lot when she's sleeping just because of the fact that she doesn't quite know yet how to like manage or handle her hair um so that's why i always try and have it in a protective style type of thing 
so look at this cows guys it's literally <laughs> i was saying to my sister like it looks like we could probably do a wash and go with this it's super super amazing the way that these curls were really popping but that's pretty much all that i do on her hair guys and i hope that this has somewhat helped you guys you can also do the exact same thing on your own hair um you know but i'm just using my daughter as an example in today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed watching please don't forget to thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video bye